Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope that your day has started off really great. I hope that you woke up today with an attitude of gratitude that you chose to be grateful and be in that state of mind and starting your day off right. Uh, my name is Leslie. I am an empowerment coach and what I do is I help men and women declutter their headspace so that they can finally take control of their lives and live their best lives right now. So what I want to talk to you today about was, are you a glass half empty or are you a glass half full kind of person? You know, are you the person that you find yourself every time you ponder on something that's happening in your life, something new, a, possi a new possibility that you have either a glass half full or a glass half empty response? Like you would rather be pessimistic or optimistic or over being optimistic or being optimistic over being a pessimist. You look for everything that could go wrong rather than focusing on what could go right, or you are the person who's always looking for all the possibilities. It's normal. You know, most people actually are the glass half full. Uh, sorry, um, sorry, most people are the glass half empty. Um, because look at the world we live in today. There's so much negativity going on. There's so many things people believe that they can't, that possibilities are not possible, that the impossible, the things that they want with their life is not possible. So of course, what are they going to do? They're going to think, well, why would I even dream? Why would I even think this is a possibility for me? Let's look for all the, the things that could go wrong rather than looking at what could go right. Did you know that according to an article in Forbes magazine, research has found that seeing the glass half full not only makes you happier, it can make you healthier and wealthier? A study was, which was done by psychologist Susan Segerstrom, I hope I'm saying her name correctly, found that 10 years after graduation, law students who were optimistic earned an average of $32,667 more than their glass half empty peers. Because they were optimistic, they believed in the possibilities that they were gonna succeed once they left law school. So they actually probably knew, I'm finished law school, I am going to pass the, the, the bar exam, I'm going to become a successful lawyer, and I'm gonna make a really good living. Because they were looking at all the possibilities of what could go right. So where do you fall into this spectrum? Like, where do you fall on the, so to speak, the, the balancing beam? Are you a half empty or are you a half full kind of man or woman? Are you generally pessimistic because you're always doubting and you're looking for the flaws in any and every situation? Or are you the one who's generally optimistic and you're looking for all of the possibilities of what could go right? You know, look, I'm not saying that you should always jump or leap before doing your research. I'm just saying that you should always go into any given situation with an open mind. Learn all of the facts before you start generalizing that it will not work for you. If you're an, a pessimist, if you're someone who's always looking for what could go wrong in your life, what could go wrong if you decided this is what I want to do with my life? Like you want to start a new business, for example. You're online. You want to start an online business. You want to start. A, you want to join an MLM. Whatever it is that you want to do, but then you start going down the list. Well, um, this could go wrong, and this could go wrong, and this won't go right. And I, who says I can do this? Who says I'm qualified? And you go on, on, and on, and on, and on. The list goes on because you start making all of this list of cons instead of actually being an optimist, turning it around, and saying, "Hey." If I do this, this is a possibility. This could go right. Oh my gosh, look at the, maybe the time freedom, the financial freedom, what I could do with my family. Maybe I could stay, be a stay-at-home mom with my children. They could go to school. I can, I'll never miss another school event. Or, you know, we can go on vacations more together because I have more freedom, more financial freedom and more time freedom. So that's what I'm saying. Are you a glass half empty or a glass half full mentality? is if you're the one that falls under that glass half empty, maybe you need to just look inward and see why you're doing that. What's causing you to feel that way? What's, what happened to you that 
made you start to doubt more rather than really dream? You know, because I've said this before. Think back when you were a child and someone would ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the sky was the limit. I mean, actually, there was no limit. You thought of amazing things and you believed in in everything that you said that you were going to be. You believed in you. There was no glass half empty mentality in you at all. In fact, you saw the good in everything and wanted to do whatever you wanted and believed that you could do whatever you wanted because you didn't think that it was not possible. So that's all I'm saying. If you're a glass half empty mentality, think about what happened to you and see maybe I can actually start looking for the good in things. So if I want to do something else, if I want to start my own business, if I want to join an MLM, if I want to get a new job somewhere else, if I want to go to school for something, believe, believe in you and look for all of the possibilities that can happen, all of the good that can happen. I hope that this helped you today. If, it, if it's not something that you needed to hear, but you know somebody in your life that really needs to hear this, please share it. Let's start getting people on a positive mindset. Let's start a movement together. Let's get people thinking more positively. Let's start getting people thinking more glass half full rather than glass half empty. And you never know. Maybe, just maybe, it resonated with you that you were thinking, hey, there was something that I wanted to do in my life. I do have something that I really want to do, but I've been going down with a list of cons thinking, yeah, that's not possible. Thinking, no, this is going to go wrong and this is going to go wrong and why do I think I can do this and who do I think I am and who says I'm qualified and what are people going to think? Don't even do that anymore. Start thinking about the possibilities of all that can go right. Again, share this if you feel that you know someone in your life that needs to hear this. Again, my name is Leslie Godet. I am an empowerment coach. And what I do is help men and women take control of the clutter in their headspace and boss up their mindset. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.